Hi, I've carefully selected top four news weekly rounds in Nigeria as of today, and I'll be doing my blunt analysis on each and every one of them. So, if you want to stick around to the end of the video, hit the subscribe button and let's get going. The first news is that the World Health Organization has warned African countries, especially Nigeria, against reopening their economy or all activities basically, so that there will not be a spike or massive increment in number of COVID-19 cases. I would not waste too much time on this news because obviously the Nigerian government would not listen to this warning by World Health Organization because over the years, even before the outbreak of this virus in Nigeria, Nigeria has refused to lock up its economy despite indications that this virus is spreading on an industrial scale in many places and then just to see the handwriting on the wall but still yet Nigeria still allowed this COVID-19 to infiltrate its borders and now it's becoming a community spread so this warning by World Health Organization is going to be thrown out of the window second news is that ESCC boss Ibrahim Marco after he was arrested yesterday and there have been denials by the agency by the JSS and also by the EFCC, there have been denials that he was not arrested, he was just questioned by the presidency and now today it has been confirmed that the presidency has suspended him until the investigation of that is being carried out on his case is concluded. This is a government that promised transparency and anti-corruption war. The person in charge of corruption has been found to be corrupt. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> not to mention the fact that a lot of people are, are complaining about this EFCC polls that since he has zoomed office, we have not seen any, any significant conviction of major personality that has been accused of one corruption case or the other. So his incompetence is very, very glary. He has been suspended and we want to see how that pans out at the end of the day. The third news is that the European Union has given Nigeria a deadline to stop the importation of petroleum products because of the pollution that they have been creating in their waterways and all that. But pollution concerns basically. The European Union is not even hiding their print, they are giving us a deadline to stop this and it's good news as far as I'm concerned because the Nigerian government hopefully will be able to fix our refineries, over four of them. The fourth news, which is the last news, is that Todd Midland Bridge will close this month for six months. You can imagine. And that will force some people to start working from home because alternative routes are bad. And this is what they will have done. Fix the alternative route before you now think of closing the bridge. But now the alternative routes have not been fixed and they are saying they want to close this bridge. I mean, it's the height of insensitivity by this government. Anyways, we'll see how this will turn out at the end of the day. So that's all I have to say as far as today's news is concerned. If you find my channel interesting, don't forget to subscribe and drop your comment. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.